So now listen. What value are you adding? A centurion was following Jesus. And Jesus turned to the elders and said, Why should I pray that the daughter is healed? What has he done for the kingdom? They say to Jesus, He has built us a synagogue and he has helped the poor. Jesus said, I won't pray here. I will go to his house. The man said, I'm not worthy. Jesus said, I am your worthiness. Let us go. What have you done? What value have you added? There was a woman in scripture by name Dokash who died. When she died, the Bible said that widows gathered and started crying. That was where the apostles used to eat. Like when Peter and the rest finished preaching, they would go there. The woman would provide food. Peter was headed to the house of the woman to eat from a mission and then saw widows crying. Asked them what was happening. The Bible said that the widows of the city came out. They said the curse was dead. The Bible said that Peter told God that this woman is more valuable to you alive than dead. The Bible says Peter was here speaking. The memorial of Docker stood before God. And God said, no. You are wanted there. Go back. Go back. What value have you added? What value have you added? You are in church dressed well. With the best of the senator. Every week you have the best of the clothes. Your wife is in tatters. You can't buy your wife even a single on this. Single on this. But when you leave home, you turn out a bottle, you bone straight. Go tell you how you are going to between your wife and them. You go to the house and you go to the house. You go to the house and you go to the house. You go to the house and you go to the house. You go to the You tell your wife, no, no, boy, you mobile don't. And I brought her up. And I brought her we are down. If you arrange her well, she will not be a village woman. Oh, have I spoken too much today? Arrange her well. Package her well. When you go out, it is those ones with, you know, no water, foundation, and that. Superstructure is hiding is too much. Behind the face, there are a lot of bridge and you know jungles. Go buy that for your wife. No woman is ugly. If you give her peace, her beauty will come out. This thing we are saying, we are not speaking so that women will hear. No, we are telling you that if you want prosperity, there are kingdom paths to take. For instance, take a journey, bless your father. Let your father pray. You have nothing to do as the year begins if the people that gave birth to you has not, have not spoken. When God said, honor your father and your mother, he didn't say, if your mother is a witch, don't. He doesn't have condition. Regardless, there is a law of ownership that if you give a witch something, that thing you've given to the witch is no longer yours. You have relinquished it. He now belongs to the person. Whatever the person does with what you have given, he is doing against him. Because the law of ownership means if I tell you, take this, it ceases from being mine. So if you take this, call him my name, I'm not the one to appear. You will appear. Honor your father and your mother, not your behaving, your well behaved father or well behaved mother. You have no right, whatever your father or your mother does, to dishonor them. They are graveyards and they are airports. You dishonor them, you dig your grave. You honor them, you enter your realm of light. Rise to your feet wherever you are.